explain the analysis of current series feedback amplifier. Analysis of current series feedback amplifier. Yes. Let me draw the circuit first. Yes. To analyze any feedback amplifier, first we have to identify the feedback component and the feedback, uh, whether it is feedback voltage or feedback current first. Okay. So now if you see the circuit, the circuit, uh, in the circuit there is RE, is this RE is, yes it is in the input circuit as well as in the output circuit, as RE acts as feedback component. Okay. And uh, the drop across RE, what is the drop across RE? There is a current IE. Okay, the drop across RE is nothing but IE RE. Where is this IE? Is this IE is from the base IB is coming and from the collector IC is coming. Both will combine IB plus IC is equal to IE. That IE yes, flows through RE, it makes a draw IE RE and now this voltage acts as feedback. Okay. So now, if you make I0 is equal to 0, what is I0 here actually? As the output is at collector, I0 is equal to 0 means IC must be 0. Okay, make your IC is equal to 0. Okay, so means to make IC is equal to 0, you have to open it. You must disconnect your collector from the supply. Okay, so like this. So if you open it, there is no IC to this. Okay, only I is going. Means your RA is not at all feedback. Now it is an input circuit means the feedback becomes 0. Hence, this is current sampling. Okay. Yes, why can't it as voltage sampling? Because, yes, see the circuit. Suppose if V0 is equal to 0. Yes, V0 is equal to 0 is making voltage is equal to 0, but there exists IC, that IC flows through this. It is not making XF is equal to 0. That is the reason it is not voltage sampling. But it is current sampling because making IC is equal to 0 is making IERE is equal to 0 because IE, another condition is, uh, another point is IE is approximately equal to IC. Okay. So, if IC is equal to 0, IE becomes 0. So, totally XF becomes 0. You can take it that way. Or, yes, if IC is 0, only IB is uh, flowing through RE. Means the drop across RE is IBRE, which is not related to the output. Means it is not at all a feedback component. Okay. Means you we made feedback is equal to 0. Hence it is current sampling. And the voltage across the RE, IE RE is, is adding uh, to the external input signal as a voltage in this loop. Hence it is series mixing. Okay. So this drop is adding to this external input signal as a voltage. Hence the mixing is series mixing. Okay. So total it is a current series feedback amplifier. Yes. Now what is the next step? You have to find input and output circuit. Okay. So let me find the input circuit. Yes. Yes. How to find the input circuit? As this is uh, current sampling. Yes. You have to make uh, uh, the current is equal to zero. Means I naught is equal to zero. Okay. So if I naught is equal to zero, yes, by making I C is equal to zero or I naught is equal to zero. Yes, if you see this, yes, now your component, the feedback component is in the input circuit. Okay. So now, how to draw this? Yes, I'll draw this. Yes, the emitted resistor is only in the input circuit. Yes, because IC is not flowing, therefore, yes, RE, RE to RE only IB is flowing, means RE seems to be an input circuit. Okay, that is the reason RE is, uh, yes, drawn in the input circuit itself. Okay, then, yes, we must find the output circuit. Yes, how to find the output circuit? To find the output circuit, you have to make your input open because it is series mixing. Okay, means you have to make I i is equal to 0. If I i is equal to 0, yes, 
make your i is equal to 0 just by opening it. Yes, what is happening? IB is 0, IB is becoming 0, but there exists IC through RA. Means now RA is said to be in the output circuit. It is not included in the input circuit because input is open. Okay, how to draw this? See this I am drawing here. Yes. RE is in the output circuit. So, just draw your RE like this. Okay. And, uh, yes. Okay. And uh, next step is, uh, we must draw the h parameter equivalent model for the input output circuit. Okay. So, we know the h parameter model is for AC equivalent circuit. To draw the AC equivalent, first what you have to do? You have to make VCC is equal to 0. So, if VCC is becoming 0, RC other end goes to 0. Here also, R A other end is at ground. And RC other end is also at ground. Okay. So, see here what I am doing. This is collector. I am drawing AC equivalent here. So, we have to make VCC is equal to 0. Means the RC other end must be connected to ground. Okay. See this. This is the circuit. Okay. Yes, why we made VCC is equal to 0? Because we are going to draw H parameter model. For that, we need AC equivalent. AC equivalent means we have to make VCC is equal to 0. Okay. So, now we will plug these two to find the total input output circuit. Yes, just I am plugging these two. Okay. This is our input output circuit. Okay. So, where is the feedback now? Yes, see here. Emitter N you have to take plus and the ground N you have to take minus. That becomes your feedback voltage. Okay. So, this emitter N, this is your plus and this is your minus. Okay. And this voltage is nothing but your VF. Okay. Yes. Now, for this, you have to draw the H parameter model. Okay. So, here I draw the H parameter model. Yes. Simply you must replace the transistor with its H parameter model. Okay. Yes, we know uh, that in the H parameter model. Yes, first uh, let me uh, keep the terminals. Between base and emitter you have HIE. Between collector and emitter we have HVIB. Yes. It is RC. Yes, just for this collector, whatever we connected, just I am drawing here. This is RE. Okay. And for this base, RS is connected. And this is VS. Okay, that's all. This is the H parameter model. Now we'll indicate the currents. This is IB and this is IC. Okay, and here it is RI and here it is R0. Yes, here uh, we're taking output at the collector now. Output at collector. So you must write V0 like this. Okay, so now this is your R0 dash that is R0 in parallel with RC. So now we will see the equations. Okay, so this is current series feedback amplifier. We know the current series feedback amplifier, the basic amplifier is transconductance because output is current. That is the reason we are taking current sampling and input is voltage. So, uh, what is the gain factor A? Gain is output current by input voltage. Okay. So, first 
How to find the open loop? Open loop transconductance. Open loop transconductance. Yes, the open loop transconductance GM is equal to I naught by VI. Okay, so what is VI? This is your VI. Totally, this is your VI. VI and VS, both are same. Okay, yes, what is I naught now? See, from this collector, collector, yes, uh, the current is, uh, the IC current is flowing like this, and opposite to IC, there exists I naught. Okay, so what is I naught? I naught is nothing but minus IC. Minus IC divided by Vs. Yes, what is minus IC? What is IC? IC is equal to H of EIB. Why? What is Vs? Vs is totally, is IB current is the only current in the input circuit. So what is Vs? IB of RS plus HIE. Okay, so here I forgot to include this RE. Okay. RE. Okay. So it is plus RE. So therefore, your GM, open the transconductance GM is minus HFE by RS plus HIE plus RE. Okay. Then, what is the next one? Yes, we got A. Then we have to go for the feedback. Feedback factor beta. What is feedback factor beta? Yes, it is Vf by I naught. What is Vf? See here. Yes, the emitter current is going like this. Yes, here. See here. The current is going like this. It is your plus minus Vf. I already yes, uh, indicated here. So, what is Vf? Yes, HFE IB is going like this. Okay. So, Vf is I0. What is I0? Yes, I0 is the current through RC. This is I0. I0 is minus IC. Yes, minus IC and IC is HFE IB. So, it is minus HFE IB. This gets cancelled. So, it is minus RC. Fine. Then, R0. Okay, first we will find RI. What is Ri? Ri is simply Rs plus Hie plus Re. What is R0? Yes, if you see there is no resistance. So, R0 is infinite. So, what is R0 dash? R0 dash is R0 in parallel with Rc. That is Rc because infinite in parallel with Rc is Rc. Okay. Then, what is Rf? It is series mixing. So, for series mixing, we know that input impedance increases so, RIF is equal to RI into 1 plus GM beta. Okay. Then, what is R not F? It is current sampling. So, current sampling, the output impedance increases. So, R not F is equal to R not into 1 plus GM beta. Yes. Yes, you can find the last one GMF also. GMF is GM by 1 plus GM beta. Okay, so this is the analysis of your current series feedback amplifier. Okay, see here, here uh, R0 is infinite, so R0 F is also infinite because infinite into something is infinite. Okay, so this is the analysis of current series feedback amplifier. Okay, if you have any doubts, please post in comments. I will clarify in the next uh, next class. Okay, thank you very much. Next class, we will see about uh, the voltage shunt feedback. Okay, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.